it's like a group we uh, similar to a pastoral care group um, they're divided into four groups we meet every Thursday for about an hour and do things for them um, that will uh, cause them to talk about things um, we model respectful behavior good things about relationships, important things that they can do. And it's also modeled on not a hierarchical system like a pastoral peer group that's equal, that we can all learn from each other. And, um, and we've actually had really good things. Last week one of the teachers did a relationship um, lesson with them. And they all spoke about what a good relationship would look like with parents, between a boyfriend and a girlfriend, between um, a mum and a dad, and that was really, really beneficial to hear that. For the last few weeks, we've been focusing on relationships, um, friendships, and boy girl relationships, relationships with their teachers, relationships with their parents. Um, and the kids have been really engaging in the discussion. We've seen kids who won't participate in any meaningful discussion really open up. Um, it's been really lovely to see. Um, there's a lot of laughs, um, we've had some candid discussions about health and safety, about smoking. Um, yeah, just being so refreshing to see them engage when they normally don't. I think that small group atmosphere really helps. We also do cooking um, with our kids and that's been lovely to see too. Just um, doing some life skills with them. Uh, and the discussions that happen while we're undertaking the activity, so it's more like even though we're learning one skill, the real skill we're learning is um, how to talk to each other and how to show respect and um, yeah, just opening up about life issues, so that's been really good. Um, we've just started scrapbooking as well, so um, a couple of girls have been engaging in that and um, preserving their memories and talking about their memories and, and celebrating um, achievements in their life, which has been lovely. Parliament and Hours is about working with the students um, in small groups to develop leadership skills to develop cooperation skills so it's a variety of activities that allow us that get the students to participate with each other um, to become better at communicating with each other better at cooperating with each other uh, so activities we've done previously we've done um, sort of small crafty type activities last week we did origami and um, previously we've played bingo or allowed the students okay. to build with blocks or uh, draw and paint um, and a lot of communication comes out of doing that so we just provide, try and provide activities that work try and do different things each week. One of the purposes of Parliament of Hours is also to engage the kids in schooling to develop better relationships with their peers and with their staff and to encourage them to attend more often so that they feel more comfortable and more safe within the school community. Okay, so one of the other things that we do at Corridors um, to foster engagement um, and also to get kids to attend, because um, that's one of, one of the problems is, is that most of the students that come to the school are here because they don't fit into a normal educational model. Um, and so usually by about midday they've had enough. Um, you have to work fairly intensively and one-on-one -on -one, one with them to, to, to get work done. And so um, I was uh, given uh, a responsibility to try and develop some afternoon programs to uh, try and get the, the students to decide to stay here in the afternoon. So a couple of the things that we're doing, um, we've set up a gaming LAN, so we've got uh, 10 computers that are networked together uh, where they actually play network games um, and that sort of allows uh, a teacher or um, uh, someone with junior care to work with the students developing um, team building skills, cooperation skills, um, because we're the, uh, the game that we play involves two teams uh, pitted against each other. Um, it also generates some sort of responsibility for the computers and the setup that we've got and it also provides us with a little bit of bait um, to try and get kids engaged in the work so we'll let them use the gaming land if they've actually done some work during the day. And uh, one of the other things that we've just started is uh, the Corridors Drift Crew which is an uh, electronic RC car club and so it gets them, there's a lot of kids interested in doing mechanics, uh, building the cars up, working on the cars, um, they have to earn a licence to drive the cars which means they've got to time themselves doing laps to earn their driver's licence, they've got to demonstrate particular skills, um, they've actually got to design the courses that we build and we use uh, like flexible pipe to, to lay out the tracks. Um, so we try and integrate maths um, in terms of the timing and the distances and all that sort of stuff along with some 
hands-on skills with the building of the cars and the maintenance of the cars um, and also just with the costs as well because there are ongoing costs, batteries and all that sort of thing that we need to work out. Um, maths is probably the biggest one to integrate into that because um, you can work out how many laps you're going to get out of the full charge of the battery, how long the battery is going to take to charge and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and not to mention the fact that it's something they want to do. So, you know, really the only way to get students to engage um, is if you're doing something that they're actually interested in doing. Um, and so what I've been trying to do is work out what do they want to do, um, along with the other teachers um, and, and youth working staff. Um, so we've got you know, scrapbooking, cooking, um, a veggie patch that we've constructed and put out the back. We've got the um, electronic RC cars, the gaming land, um, and that's sort of what we've got rolling this year so far. The department of ours, which has started this year, um, basically we've got the kids into small care groups and they've got four care groups at the moment and each group does a different focus with their students. Um, so an example is last week we did relationships with our kids and we're basically building up relationships with our students and, and discussing those topics that they might not necessarily get a chance to discuss in a really appropriate way.